The man who runs the State Ethics Commission is suspended and off the job tonight. Commissioners voted today to conduct an independent investigation of Stephen Ritter. Uh, sources tell our Fox 5 I team at least two employees complained about Ritter's workplace behavior, including an allegation that he had porn on his state computer. Now, senior Fox 5 I team reporter Dale Russell has covered Ritter's career for more than a decade and was there when that vote was taken. Yeah, it was very tense in that room today, Sine. For years, the state the Ethics Commission has been a tangled mess, riddled with controversy. And when Stephen Ritter took over, the commission appeared to run smoothly. Now Ritter faces allegations of unethical behavior at his own workplace. Nearly four years ago, longtime government attorney Stefan Ritter was brought in to clean house at the troubled State Ethics Commission. And if you look at the next pages. Back in 2015, Ritter was an assistant attorney general working with the commission. When the commission voted to fire, then ethics executive secretary Holly LaBerge. The reason? And it makes us all look bad. A Fulton County judge sanctioned LaBerge and fined her $10,000, saying she had been dishonest honest and non-transparent during a whistleblower lawsuit filed by her predecessor. But now Stephen Ritter, who was brought in to revamp the agency, is facing his own workplace controversy. At this stage there are allegations and we're going to investigate the veracity of the allegations. Commission Chairman Jake Evans says a few weeks ago complaints were lodged against Stephen Ritter regarding his behavior in the office. An internal investigation was conducted. Then this emergency meeting called. The commission voted unanimously to conduct a full investigation. Based upon the allegations of improper workplace conduct that the commission I moved to commence an investigation of the allegations uh, and to place Mr. Stephen Ritter on administrative leave with pay. According to sources familiar with the case, at least two ethics department employees filed written complaints alleging, among other allegations, Ritter had porn on his state computer and often failed to show up for work. You feel like you need additional investigation? We would like, we would, at this stage, we're going to commence an independent investigation and retain an outside law firm uh, to ensure that it's fairly and properly done. I haven't even seen any allegations, so I, it's puzzling to me. Ritter, who worked for over a decade as an assistant attorney general before taking over the ethics agency, has been credited with cleaning up the troubled agency, reducing backlogs, and helping get raises for staff. Now he is fighting for his political life. Do you have any comments about the allegations that you've heard of? They're incorrect, but I will address issues later. Thank you, Dale. So you plan to fight? I'm certainly not going to think this is appropriate. Ethics Commission Chairman Jake Evans was asked if he had a deadline or timetable for when this investigation would be complete. He said, I hope as soon as we can. Russ Sine. Yeah. Well, some of this, uh, with respect to the computer, ought to be easy to prove or disprove, you would think. Yeah, I think that would be the easiest part. When you get, I understand there are a number of allegations in the written complaints. Uh, then you got to get into being able to prove anything that is in there. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. And, and this commission, as you both know, mm -hmm. has been through such a rough patch. Right. And it's been smooth lately. So this seemed to kind of come out of the blue. All right. Well, Dale, please keep us updated. We will. Thanks, Dale. Yeah.